Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah and today is going to be predominantly an orange bird themed unboxing. However, I do have two shirts that I really quickly want to show from Diz Tea World because I'm kind of obsessed. I will link her down below. Now the one is, she can do complete customs. Obviously they, they are a little bit more expensive, but message her first to see kind of what's doable. The first t-shirt I have is for Sorcerer Mickey. If you've seen my videos before, I love Sorcerer Mickey. And I saw this design and I thought, you know what, it's beautiful. I think originally I went with like a cream coloured t-shirt, but then you wouldn't have been able to see the stars as much. So we changed it to like a navy blue colour. I'm going to keep it like this because the rest of the shirt is just like a plain navy blue. I will link this T-World down below. I went with a small t-shirt wise. It's kind of like a similar size to this. Um, I either have a small or a medium I'm a UK size 8 to 10. The small is a little bit tighter fit, whereas the medium is much more of like a baggy fit. It's just personal preference with what you want. And this is the design. It's the Sorcerer Mickey hat, and he's got the little magical sparks with some beautiful flower flowers? Flowers. Stars, not flowers. Goodness me. My words. Get the right words, Hannah. So that is the first one. I'm going to keep it like this because she folds them so well and I never fold things nicely like this. So that's the design on this one. I'm probably going to keep this one the same as well because the design is on the front. She can do front and back. Again, obviously, if you have double sided, it is like an extra charge. She also, which I recently found out, does a sleeve design. Oh, actually, is this the one with the sleeve design? So I might have to get it out to show you saying that. So I can't keep this one as it is. Right. Sorcerer Mickey first. Bung that one there. I am going to meet at the Wales Comic Con in August, August, pretty sure it's August, Damon and Stefan Salvatore. I've previously had a picture with Stefan Salvatore. I get so confused, I've met that many now. Previously had a picture with Stefan Salvatore. This time I'm having a picture with Damon Salvatore and an autograph with Stefan. So I've got this kind of, I went with like a grey shirt with like a dark red, like a blood red for the lettering it says mystic falls team salvatore and then that's when they were turned into vampires oh no it fell there we go what size is the shirt i think i went with an extra small for the shirt just because sometimes the shirts are a bit baggier than the t-shirts so a gray shirt and then that's the writing on there now like i said i'm pretty sure this one has a sleeve design it does let me just double check the back yeah so the back is plain the sleeve. I wonder if I can get my my hand down there just to show it better. If you've seen the Vampire Diaries, one of my favourite, I say my favourite parts, my favourite friendship is Bonnie and Damon and I love it when Damon makes his kind of blueberry vampire pancakes. So I did ask for that to be on the sleeve because obviously meeting Damon, can you show him that part? So, really quickly wanted to show those from Dis Tea World. I will link her down below. I've not folded that very well. I'll have to try and do it properly later. Okay. Orange bird. I love orange bird. Can you tell? Got my little orange bird. Got these orange birds that are always there. Now, actually, I have the big feet orange bird. Where's he? I don't know where he is. I have the big feet orange bird plush, where it's kind of like this, but he has big feet. Hence the name, big feet plush. He is somewhere. I'm going to need to find him. Anywho, as I mentioned in the figment video last time, for some reason, I don't know why the US and UK shop Disney seem to get different items. I don't know. Sometimes they don't always get the parks items. Last year, I'm pretty sure they, had, they did have some of the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival merch. So I'd kind of held off with getting the two lounge fly that they did and ears for this year thinking, oh, well, they'll just come to the UK shop Disney. I can get them then. They've still not arrived yet, and it's now, like, what, mid-June? So I thought, I will just get them from the US. Be easier, because I don't want them to sell out. If you can't tell, I love Orange Bird. Dear God. I, he's just so cute, and I love him. You can actually find Orange Bird in Magic Kingdom as well, with the Sunshine Terrace. That little, like, orange swirl dessert is so yummy. 
by the way. So. Orange bird line fly and ears, that's why I've not got any ears on. So I'm going to put the ears on. So I'll start with the ears first. Is there a... okay. I don't know the price of the ears, they were probably around 30-ish dollars. Somewhere around that mark. I'm going to start with the back just because the front is on the front. So the back, it's kind of like a deep orange sort of colour with flowers on there. And on the headband it says orange vibes on that side. It doesn't say anything on this side though. What I like about this is the small tag. We don't like those big long tags. We like the nice small tags. The front, it has orange bird on either side. I'm going to start with this side just first. So look at his face. You look at his face and then the most beautiful orange sequin bow. And again, it's like that slightly deep orange sort of colour. And then we have orange bird again on this ear. But if I just move the bow, because he's a little bit covered up. And it says, oops, it doesn't say oops. It says flowers on there as well. I would say oops. But just look at his face. He's just so adorable. So sweet. Right, that's just going to have to stay on for now. We will bung the ears on and hopefully this goes well. Oh, actually, do you know what? They don't feel that bad. I have to say, some of the official kind of Disney Parks ears... What's that? It was just a bit of the paper. Some of the Disney Parks ears really push behind your head so that it makes them a bit difficult to wear. These aren't that bad. I feel like I could easily wear these for an hour and then maybe have to take them off. I like those. Okay, lounge fly backpack. I am so ridiculously excited for this because there was one previous orange bird disney parks lounge fly bag i'll pop a picture up and he's just adorable that is probably i think i mentioned it in the figment one as well i think that's my grail backpack but they just never come up for sale and when they do they are quite expensive if i have if my memory's working as it should i believe the last one i saw was in one of the facebook groups and it was brand new with tags and it was listed for about $750. So that's probably never going to happen. Unless I win the lottery. And then I can buy a bigger house with a bigger room and have much more lounge fly backpacks. Because that's what I'd do. I'd be a responsible adult and get more lounge fly. I haven't had a proper look. I've kept him in the carrier bag. Look at him. Oh my word. He is just think orange thoughts is there a price no no price i have a feeling he was either kind of 75 or 80 dollars somewhere around that mark they tend to be a bit more like 90 dollars when they have sequins or the ears and the bow like sequins ears and bow i'm pretty sure like 90 dollars as a retail these days what's this there's a little oh no it's just a bit of plastic get off there we go oh no marks on orange bird thank you very much but yeah that original one he's much more of like this sort of orange colour, so very vibrant. That one would be an absolute grail. Probably never going to happen, but you never know. But, oh, he's beautiful. Is he taller than others? Let me just... If I try, he, oh no, mm, I think he might be like a smidge taller. I'm just comparing to that one. Like a tiny smidge taller than some of the others. However, he does have a full-size handle compared to the others that have just that smaller handle that's like half the size of that. I wonder why some of them have big handles and some of them have smaller ones. I don't know. But it's orange bird and he has flowers and just there as well. If I try and hold that up, you can see that little, those little leaves on the top of his head. And then, the, are they daisies? We'll go with daisies. Look at his face. You just can't help but smile when you see his cute face. And his little arms just here. What's on the sides? Both. Are, oh no. So Disney Parks and Lounge Fly tag on that side. And then this side is plain. Move the tag out the way. I did notice it. Oh, it is. Do we have a proper zip puller? What's this zip puller? It's gears. Oh, it's just a normal Lounge Fly one. So there is. It's a bit of like a hidden pocket just there. Normal zip puller. That zip was hidden. Just under there. It seems like that would just be a small one that you probably could just put a couple of papers in. He does have a side pocket on either side as well. Again, they're just like small slip side pockets. Back. 
the back of orange bird the bottom the bottom is just plain orange but here he is with a little trowel with some flowers because he's got to do some gardening oh he's so sweet i'm going to do a 360 and then we'll have a look at the inside of him but is he not the most adorable they have I'm pretty darn sure that they also did a spirit jersey that matched the backpack and the ears. I don't have that. I don't get that many spirit jerseys anymore unless I absolutely love them. Like, I'm always going to get lounge fly, aren't I? But there we go. I'm going to do another 360 actually just because he's so stinking cute. Show him just there and then we'll have a look at the inner lining. See what's going on. Move that tag out the way, it won't stay out the way, will it? Be careful of his little tufty bit there. Oh, get out of the pack. Oh, hello. Looks like one. This is such a nice lining. There's not an inner pocket. Disney Parks lines I don't always have inner pockets. It's actually uncommon for the Parks ones to have an inner pocket. I love this lining. Oh, I love it. It's it's like hit the uh, bleh, bleh. Excuse. It's like hills and then different orange birds. And there's even a spaceship earth, like the Epcot ball, that looks like it's a tree with oranges on there. And rainbows. Well, orange and yellow and green rainbows. I love that. Okay, there we go. That is so cute. I keep saying the word cute. I'm sorry, I keep saying cute, I know, but he is, he's just so cute and adorable. That is the inside. I wonder if there's, I wonder if I can see that. Oh, get out of the way, tag. If I can like properly open this up, it is the same. Hopefully that will show up just there so you can see that front pocket does have the same inner lining as the main pocket. Oh goodness, look at this. He squishes a lot. I put the packaging back inside them because, I mean, you can see at the bottom as well how easily he's squishing. I mean, when you've got things in the backpacks, they'll kind of keep their shape anyway. But when I'm displaying them, I do put the packaging back inside because he's a particularly squishy one. I don't know why some of them squish a lot easier than others, but look how much he's just kind of gone flat there. So yeah, I do put the packaging back inside them. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!